Hi, Regina. We'll um, show you how to set your brush tool so that it works properly. So you click on your brush and brush tool. And then you right click, right? Question? You're in my eyedropper, right? No, I'm on brush. Oh. Yeah, but you I'm want sorry. eyedropper. <laughs> eyedropper tool. Woo. <laughs> I'm really with a few more copies. There is a secret thing with the brush tool where when you're painting you can hold alt and you click on it and select colors. Yeah. But you can't actually change any eyedropper settings from here which is what you're actually interested in changing. So when it changes you have to actually go on to the eyedropper and you, you don't want your sample size not to be point sample. That's the most important part. If you've got really, really huge photos you might want to go as high as 100, 1 by 100, 1 by 3 by 3 or 5 by 5 average is usually going to give you a good sample of whatever you're trying to actually pick. And then you're going to want to sample all layers or you're going to get into these weird situations where you're only picking black and white colors from your mask or something by accident and it's going to drive you crazy so you're just probably going to want it to have it all on all layers from the beginning. <laughs> well done, Joy. <laughs> and then you're going to go back to your brush tool and if you hold alt and you click on something you'll actually be picking the color that you see underneath it instead of exactly what the computer thinks you're going to see under it. And our work here is done. <laughs> Thanks, Joy. You're awesome.